This is my review of the Thomas Point State Park near Thomas City, Michigan. And the campground is really nice and clean. I mean, most of the sites uh, are fully grass, and there's partial shade and partial sun on most of the campsites. This is a little bit unusual uh, because most of the Michigan State Parks, the sites are well worn, and I mean, you got dirt on them. But this is a nice change from the typical state park in Michigan. And this is our site at the campground. It's one of the several pull-throughs that they have. And actually they've converted some of the regular sites into pull-throughs just for the bigger rigs. And Talos Point State Park is on a peninsula with a state park on the very end. And on the south side is Lake Huron and all of its grandeur. And nice sandy beaches, a little more stony, I suppose, than Lake Michigan, but still it's a gorgeous lake. And we have a nice catch and release fish pond here on the state park property. So if you want to go fishing, uh, you just can't keep them, but you can catch them. And here's another pond that's a fishing catch and release pond on the state park. Funny I said uh, Lake Huron is actually more of an inland sea, except that it's freshwater because it's a couple hundred miles long and 80 to 100 miles wide or something like that. It's huge. And here we have the Tawas Point Lighthouse. Tawas Point itself juts out on the north side of Saginaw Bay and everything to the north of Tawas Point is in Saginaw Bay. Everything to the south is on Lake Huron. And adjacent to the lighthouse, we have a small gift shop. And this is pretty unusual for a state park. We have a pet-friendly beach, so you can take your dog to the beach. And this is, of course, separate from the main beach, from the main human beach. This beach is just for animals. And all I can say is just watch your step at the pet beach. And the campground is on the northern side of the uh, peninsula. And this is a small beach at the campground. And this is Saginaw Bay. And Tawa City is on the other side there. So on cold and stormy days, uh, you may want to go here. And nice sunny days, you can go over to the Lake Huron site. And you really don't even need an RV. You can uh, rent one of these cabins if you want. And now the only real downside to the park, if there is one, is that there are no full hookups. These are electricity only, and water is available to state park at several places, and there is a dump station. Also, these sites are 30 amp for the most part, so you may want to bring an adapter dog bone and such if uh, you have 50 amp. And like this one, this is a quad outlet serving four sites, so you may want 50 feet of uh, power cord.